This is Accounting on Excel with Amaka Ifebnando. You're welcome to this lesson. So this lesson is a launch of our Excel-based application. And the first in the series, we're giving it out as a freebie and is a sales report tracker for business, as you can see on the screen, a sales report tracker. What this template and this application, as I call it, does, it helps you as a business person to track your sales. And if you are a professional that is into sales marketing, it helps you track your sales. Are you making more of a credit sales or a cash sales? And it brings you to cushion on the decision to take by looking at your report at a glance. So we'll go through this application to show you how it works. And um, we have the download link. You can download. I've made a download available. Just click on the download link, provide the information needed, and you have it right on your email so that you can also have a feel on this application. You can use it for your business. You can use it for your personal use as a salesperson, right? So let's just go in and see how this application works, right? So we have the name of the business here. Up here, we have ABC Limited. You, and to do your setup, setup of the business, you click on here. We have our navigation uh, link. Like here, we have the setup, we have the sales, and we have the report. Now, the setup helps you to set up details about your business. So you go click on this, and you'll hear about the business. Let's say your business is um, 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 bags and more. Maybe we use, okay, okay, let me just say snacks and more right snacks and more all right snacks okay let me use capital caps snacks and more i'm just for illustration purpose right so immediately you input that and go back to your dashboard it's here snacks and more that's the name of the business so this is just for illustration purpose let's go back to the setup so that i can explain some things now we still have our navigation link here. You can also go back to your dashboard by clicking here. You go to your sales by clicking here. You go to your report by clicking here. We have our transaction tab. For this particular purpose, we are using two transactions because it's a sales tracker. So it's either we are making a cash sales or we are making a credit sales. So we have our product category. And for the purpose of this um, overview, we're using two products. Our snacks and more business is into either drinks or snacks so and the the list of products on the drinks are here why the list of products on the snacks are listed here they are all in a table format so this is where we set up the details of our business um uh, our business details right so let's go back to the dashboard you can click here to go back to the dashboard so you enter your business information here just as it stated there so let's go to the next uh link and this is our source where we enter our daily transaction this is the cruise of the matter so we'll click here right so we have our table this is the table this is an excel table an excel table has great futures great great and awesome future once again you can also navigate to each of those pages by clicking on the links here right so we have our different columns date invoice number description transaction type product category product subcategory and amount each line represents a transaction each line in this table represents a transaction so you can see we have our dates our invoice number column have both the invoice number for credit sales and the receipt number for cash sales then you can put in your description here detailed description you put use the, in in the transaction type we have a drop down list and you are restricted to either selecting a cash sales or credit sales, just as we stated earlier then we have our product category column also has even a drop down list and here you are restricted either to choose drinks or snacks just as we have stated in our setup setting up our information for the business so when you come to this point you the sub product subcategory is dependent on what we select on the product category meaning that the drop down list here is linked to the product category link now when you select snacks here 
the only thing you'll be seeing here are items that are snacks like under the category snacks bread cake meat pie when you select the drink item all you'll be seeing here is just the drink item so you have your bottled water Mortena, juice coca-cola so that's another feature that is quite quite of great benefit and of great use for us in this application so this drop down list is indirectly linked to the product category so if we don't select if if, if we didn't select anything here nothing if i didn't select anything here when i come here i won't see any drop down so whatever is with unless i select something either a car a dr or either drinks or snacks then i will see a drop down so let me say i select snacks so when i come here you can see right so that's a great feature for us right so that's it so you have your amounts so this amount are just random amounts we selected to input our data so just uh, give an overview of how this application works so before we leave this 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 page we also also want to show you how you can delete a transaction and also add a transaction to delete a transaction you just select any cell in that rule you want to delete when you select it you right click you come to delete and see delete table rules immediately that transaction is deleted all right so if you want to add just like now we have a row that is already active we can add so you just input your data let's say on the 25th january 2020 we'll have an invoice zero zero six zero zero six just for record purpose okay triple zero six all right okay let's say we know oh, two loaves um yeah two two loaves and small later two loaves of coconut <laughs> okay let me just say a uh, chocolate cake a chocolate uh mm, yeah chocolate so oh my this is correct chocolate bread right <laughs> so because it's invoice so it's a credit so right so i can just so it's snacks so it's bread because chocolate bread so we select bread here so to load, let's say 500 just a random amount right so immediately i clicked i used my because i used my tab key to enter right immediately i click the tab key again another row and i go into another row so that's how i can add row into it so that's it for our the uh, transaction um sales transaction so for us to go to the next one we'll go to the report you click on the report wow and this is where we get our end result of all we've been doing now those report sheets the only user input is in the date range so the user is only entitled to change the date other things cannot be changed it has been programmed automated so when you input the dates here everything comes up the reports on sales type comes up based on the date selected the subcategory product report comes up based on the same date and the main category product reports also comes up based on the same date so we have from 1st of january 2020 to 15th of january you can see the report the cash sale is 5250 credit sales 2300 look at the graphical representation of that 70 percent is cash sales why 30 percent is credited from this you can make your decision you will you will caution yourself what am i doing you understand and you know how to make decisions so you can see detail of each sales we've made on each product and under the main product category snacks we are making more on snacks than on drinks so you can even view the graphical representation on subcategory products you see the bottle water Mortena, juice coca-cola nothing yet you understand so let's say we we we, we choose from first of january to let me see 38 30 right wow no you see immediately it updates itself so the only user input you have here is only the date other things you you are not expected to touch you can't even do anything there because it has already been programmed and this is only where you can assess 
So when you change the date, everything here updates itself automatically. It updates itself automatically. That's how it works, right? So this is an overview of this application. We'll make this application available for download. Check um, in the description, wherever on the, um, the description um, area, you see a link, just you have the download so that you can walk around it and also use it for your business can use it for your business. This is the fourth in the series of our Excel-based application. As we roll out other, other, other applications too, you will still see the benefits of it, right? I believe this will add a great value to you as you use it. I so, so much believe that it will, it will, it will. And I will really, really love your feedback on this. I will really love your feedback. Your feedback will help us to improve, to work more on it, right? So thanks for staying on on this and I hope to see you in our next lesson. Bye for now.